And first at 11, a person trusted with the care of young children facing felony charges tonight, accused of physically abusing a child in a local daycare. Good evening, I'm Todd McDermott. And I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us. Ari Height is in the studio now with details from that police report. Ari? And this is that police report right here. It does not give a motive for the crime. It does not say why this happened, but it says there is no question at all as to what happened. Because according to this report, the whole thing was caught on video. On Monday, 25-year-old Olivia Tyree was working as a teacher at World Class Academy in Vero Beach, and according to this police report, she physically assaulted one of the children, and not just one time. The child's name and age are redacted from the report, which says there is video footage of the whole thing, saying it shows Olivia with a shoe in her hand. Quote, Olivia then raises the shoe, reaches back as if she is going to hammer a nail, and with full force strikes the child on the top of the head. It goes on to say, Olivia was then seen, quote, grabbing the child by the arm and dragging the child approximately 10 yards to the child's bed for nap time. While the child was sitting on the bed, she then, with her right arm in a stiff arm-like motion, pushes the child face first into the bed in a malicious manner then picks the child up again and drags the child out of the room where the child is no longer in the sight of the camera. The report says Olivia denied ever touching the child, saying, quote, all she meant to do was scare the child. Olivia Tyree is now charged with child abuse. And Olivia Ty Tyree posted bond this morning. She is now out of jail. I tried calling and texting her tonight to see if there's anything she wanted to say about her arrest, but I did not hear back. Reporting live, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News. This happens to be in Vero Beach, Florida, which is the same city that Megan's case is going on in.